in the hands of the Almighty as we pray. Heavenly Father, you are our humble servant. We, we are your humble servants. We come before you today in need of hope. There are times when we feel helpless. There are times when we feel weak. We pray for hope. We need hope for a better future. We need hope for a better life. We need hope for love and kindness. We need your light, Lord, in every way. We pray to be filled with your light from head to toe, to bask in your glory, to know that all is right in the world and as you have planned and as you want it to be. Open your eyes. Just that. Learn from yesterday. Live for today. Hope for tomorrow. Good morning, Reverend Father Rector, Reverend Father Principal, Sir Rai, Sir Clifford, Miss Christina, Miss Reshma, teachers, and my dear fellow classmates. Let your hope, not your hurts, shape your future. As long as the sun rises, there is hope. Make sunshine your spirit animal. This is the message Tenthev conveys through the assemblies. Keep your face to the sun and you will never see the shadows. God will not give you a burden that you cannot handle. So, if you are in a mess which is impossible to resolve, think it as a compliment. God thinks you can do it. When I am down and oh my soul so very when troubles come and my heart burden be then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit by with me you raise me up so i can stand on mountains you raise me up to walk on so many sea i am strong when i am on your shoulders Raise me up to more than I can be.
raise me up so I can stand on love. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up. You raise me up to more than I can be. Our assembly emphasizes that today it's a difficult phase. We have it a low in life, but there is always a positive way. In this stage of life, we are all going through ups and downs. We always have that one person in our life who will always try to lift us up. And at this stage, it's mostly friends. It's 5 p.m. And look at me, messy hair, unfinished food, cluttered table, a bunch of notifications and a pair of eyes railing down the assignment I have been working on for 3 hours. It's almost done, but wait, there's another assignment due tomorrow. I can't really get to that yet cause there's also an exam for which I haven't started studying. Ayan is depressed. However, at this age, there are always friends in life who try to lift us up, thus giving hope in dark times. So, his friends decide to cheer him up meeting online. Am I audible? Yes, you are, Ayan. What's up, Ayan? Fine, Atharva, I guess. Is everything good? The usual student routine, am I? Obviously, I am an Amai. It's both this academic year, so apparently the schedule will be piled up. I know it's difficult, but we have to go through this phase. Certainly, we have to fight this phase. Ayan, you know what? Uh, you really seem depressed. You can share your problems if you want. Uh, you know, Atharva, uh, I used to love drawing but haven't drawn anything for months. Haven't stepped out of my house because that will be a waste of time. I may not show it, but I'm extremely anxious about my grades these days. Same here. Sometimes even getting up for lectures seems like an impossible task in my mind. Ayan, I have known you since your childhood and you are the most focused and hardworking person I know. But you always seem to think about the row ahead and miss to seem to enjoy the moments. I agree, Atharva. Ayan, before last few months, you used to love interest like photography and digital art. And you know what? That's a big deal. Uh, yes, I've also been learning programming in my free time as well. Exactly, Ayan. Look at your life now. You have got a lot more parts of your life chopped out and going somewhat smoothly. You, as a person, are more organized overall. Valid. Do remember, life begins outside your comfort zone. During the course of one month, after the meet with his friends, Ayan is now focused towards time management as well as his other essential tasks. He is now writing a letter. But the gradual improvement in this period of one month. Dear Ayan, I've known you for my entire life, and I can tell you that you always focus so much on the road ahead, completely neglecting the path you have taken. 
No matter how dark it gets, you are someone who always try to look forward. And that's alright. You don't look back enough. And that's the reason I say this to myself. I'm so proud of you and really happy for you. Life hasn't been easy on you lately. And that's constraining you from seeing how far you have come over the last few years. You always had to constrain yourself to constantly perform well at academics and always had a path open to learn new things. Over the entire past year, you may have got distracted from your path, which you seem wasn't dark, but I have always known you as a person who never gives up. You have constantly fought against your own self to understand the right and the wrong in which you have come out to be a better person. Stop being so hard on yourself. One day, everything will make complete sense in a way which you can understand. All this pain, frustration will one day become worth it. And eventually, you will overcome every difficulty. Your parents have been the greatest treasure you possess in your entire life. They both have supported you in everything, correcting you when you made mistakes. They truly have raised a beautiful person. So you should be glad and be proud of it. Dance is the best stress reliever. It is like taking a mini vacation and it helps you live in the moment. रास्ते भागे पांव से आगे जिंदगी से चल कुछ और भी मांगे रास्ते भागे पांव से आगे जिंदगी से चल कुछ और भी मांगे क्यों सोचना है जाना कहाँ जाए वहीं One year later, I am Atharva and Amay have now graduated from school. Students, we now end the meet here. Bye, sir. Thank Bye, you, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Guys, I will call our seniors who just graduated from our school. Yes, definitely. They will share some golden tips with us. What's up? How are you guys? Um, first of all, can you guys introduce yourselves? Certainly. We are your seniors from Don Bosco. Yes, currently studying in 11th grade. Oh, who was your class teacher then? It was Miss Dachka. Oh, seriously? She is our class teacher this year as well. Guys, can you give us some tips based on how you tackled pressure during boards? Yeah, sure. But I think Ayan would be more accurate to talk on this topic. Okay. This reminds you a lot of past memories, Ayan. Uh, yes, it does. So last year during my online semester, I was going through a tough phase uh, during which I felt very low as my daily routine was piled up with assignments from school as well as classes. So I was not able to handle it. But he managed to deal it with his determination and consistency. Guys, learn to tackle the tough phases in your life. Stay positive and do apply the following tips given by your seniors. 
Hi everyone, my name is Mohin Hakim and I'm from the 2019 batch. One advice I'd like to give you all is that live your school life to the fullest. Take up as many responsibilities as you can and make proper use of all the opportunities you get because all of these things will help you develop your personality. Now, I know we have this fear of 10 standard boards like what will happen, how much will I score, what if I don't score well. Don't doubt yourself. Uh, this won't help you increase your score. Instead, practice more and more and give your best shot. Be calm and don't live in the fear of what will happen. All right, thank you so much, everyone. All the best for everything. Hi, everyone. Craig DeCruz here from the batch 2019 2020. We all know that standard 10 is a very crucial year and there is definitely a lot of pressure placed on you. But you can't let the pressure get the best of you. Stay calm and study well. At Don Bosco's, we have a lot of extracurricular activities, but that doesn't mean we neglect our studies. A balance between extracurricular activities and studies is required. Standard 10 is the first milestone towards your future. So my advice to you students is that no matter what happens, stay calm, plan well ahead of time and do your best. I know you can do it. After all, you are Boscoites. Good morning, everyone. My name is Alden D'Souza, batch 1920. I know each one of you is burning the candle at both ends to score great marks in your board exams. By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. So be prepared. A study timetable helps in time management. No wind blows in favor of a ship without destination. Likewise, each and every student has to set a goal to achieve his target. Note down points which are easier to remember. Mnemonics, flowcharts do help. Focus on a particular topic while studying. Try not to procrastinate your work for the next day. Sufficient rest, meditation like yoga will definitely work miracles in your life. And above all, pray. Wishing you an ocean of good luck and success in your upcoming board exams. I know great success will be yours at the end. God bless. Hey guys, it's Dean Mascarenas from the batch of 2021. My advice to you would be planning your days and allotting slots for playing as well as studying and also being consistent throughout the year. During a normal school year, we'd have many activities and events that go on throughout. But now, due to the current situation, many of those are limited and there's not much that we can do. So, I encourage you to get involved in as much as you can this year and enjoy and cherish your moments while you can. And last but not the least, your marks do not define you, your personality does. Thank you for having me. Have a good day. Hello everyone, I'm Atharva Gajakosh, currently studying in 10th grade, batch 2021-2022. An advice I would like to give to my juniors would be to stay consistent throughout your entire life. Consistency will bring the best out of you and will enable you to bring the best out of everything. So stay consistent throughout everything. And also, I know this phase is quite tough for all of us. But remember, change is the only thing which is constant in the universe. So try to make the best out of this situation and if you hit a low point in your life, you can always use it to your own advantage. So as it is said that uh, if you hit a low point in your life, you are open to the greatest change. So that's it. Have fun, study, play and enjoy. Thank you so much. On 26th July, the church celebrates the feast of Saint Joachim and Saint Anne, the parents of Mary, a blessed mother, and the grandparents of Jesus. Appreciate your parents. You never know what they went through for you. Behind every young child who believes in himself is a parent who believed first. Yeah.
दे सकता क्या ला सकता कहता तुझे बस शुक्रिया क्या दे सकता क्या ला सकता कहता तुझे बस शुक्रिया तुझ नहीं मेरी सुबह तुझ नहीं
सकता हूँ क्या ला सकता हूँ कहता तुझे बस शुक्रिया क्या दे सकता हूँ क्या ला सकता कहता तुझे बस शुक्रिया Now invite Reverend Father Ekta to enlighten us. Good morning to all, and uh, thanks to the tenth F for this wonderful assembly. You know, the I particularly like two parts of your assembly. One is your involvement of the past students in giving you tips on how to go ahead with your final year in the school. and uh, it was very refreshing to see the beautiful moments that you spend with your parents yeah but allow me to share with you this morning something that is not uh, connected with the theme of your assembly on hope uh, but uh, it is very much part of what is today celebrated in the whole world the 28th of july is commemorated as world nature conservation day and in those clippings with your parents i have seen quite a few of you uh watering plants and taking care of the plants in your houses along with your parents uh, i was also reminded of uh, my days with my parents my father especially was very fond of growing plants in our flat in mumbai you don't have big spaces like you have in the school so many of us uh, in our galleries we grow plants you know and uh, those are the plants that are very dear to us we take care of us you know i'm sure many of you are not aware of this but uh, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics that is going on at the moment uh is called the eco-friendly olympics in fact the japanese want to make a statement through the olympics you know uh that uh, this is the legacy that they want to leave behind that they are going to take care of uh nature and they have shown it through the olympics how this can be done in fact when they started running for the olympics you know they came out with a plan it was called a sustainability plan guiding principle and the title of that plan was be better together for the planet and for the people and you will be amazed you know to know what things they put in that plan and which they executed uh, for the olympics in order to conserve our resources and to take care of nature the first thing that they did was in the years preceding the olympics they collected 80000 ton of metal from used electronic goods that means they asked people to give their used mobiles 
no nowadays some of us have two and three mobiles and some of them most of them are not working old ones they collected all these mobiles and they extracted all the precious metal from those mobiles and from those precious metals that were extracted from the mobiles they have manufactured all the medals that are being given at the olympic games the gold medals the silver medals and the bronze medals are made from these recycled uh, mobiles that were collected and the precious metal that was extracted from them in this olympics there are over 11100 athletes that are staying at the olympic village uh, tokyo had conducted the olympics in the year 1964 that was almost 57 years ago and at that time there were only 5000 athletes that took part in the olympics now this time it is almost more than double that number and for those huge number of athletes you would need a lot of infrastructure just imagine the bed frames on which the athletes are sleeping on the village are made from recycled cardboard then the mattresses are made from polyethylene which after the games will be converted into plastic products then they have done away with single use plastic so you will not find any plastic bags used in the games uh, if you have watched some of the games the football matches the basketball matches the other matches the cups that they used to drink water are not plastic cups they are made from a uh, reusable material so they are recyclable uh, instruments whether it is cutlery or plates even the name tags that are being used by the officials and the athletes are made from reusable material the anti doping uh, kits that are prepared for each of the athletes for testing that is also made from reusable material normally at the other olympic games in the village and in different venues they used to keep soft drink dispensers for those who are participating in the games but tokyo 2020 has done away with the soft drink dispensers and they have installed water fountains Uh, you see these water fountains mainly at the airports you press a button and a fountain of water comes out so you don't have to use any cup or anything you just put your mouth at the fountain and you can drink that water then all the medal podiums on which the athletes who have won any medal stand they are made from recyclable plastic the placards that were held by the bearers for the at the opening ceremony for the various countries that took part were all made from recyclable material when it comes to power they are not using electricity or any petrol or diesel they have installed solar panels so there is zero carbon emission they have even used alternative fuel sources something called algae biofuel so those who are science students will know that from algae you can uh, create fuel which is very useful and which is very uh, eco friendly there is proper water management they have collected rain water over the years and stored it up in tanks at the various venues and they are using this rain water for the upkeep of the venues for cleaning and for watering the gardens and uh, finally there's a very interesting bit of news the clothes company that is making uniforms for the games is not adidas or nike it's a company called asx and they collected 30000 used clothes and from those used clothes they prepared uniforms for the officials 
for those who are in charge of the medal ceremonies for the opening ceremonies all those who performed all those uniforms were made from recycled clothes so the japanese have very strongly made a statement that we need to take care of our nature and we need to look after nature and that is why today on world nature conservation day my message to all of you is let us in some way either in the school or in our homes try to conserve our resources and look after nature good morning to all and have a nice day thank you reverend father rector we now invite reverend father principal to address us so good morning to all of you am i audible yes yes sir okay. yes, good, good morning father. father good morning father in the first place uh, yes. congratulations to each one of you dear students of standard 10th f again okay, to your class teacher ms daksha who ensured a uh, a smooth uh, run of this entire assembly in fact i have got uh, i've noted down a few points which i wish to share with you concerning your assembly uh, i wish to thank father rector for his presence at the assembly and for sharing his message on the importance of uh, greening and keeping our nature safe our environment clean uh, there were so many good points uh, so many plus points of today's assembly and uh, i think it's important that all of us know so that uh, you know Uh, not only during school years but even after school years you put some of these things into practice uh, i think your presentation uh, right through was quite flawless and uh, i think the reason for this is the amount of planning and hard work that you have put in it does not come uh, all of a sudden and uh, i could sense uh, the relaxed moments after the assembly on the you know the face of your class teacher and some of you you know because i know in the present situation when uh, everything is online anything can happen with the connectivity and uh, after lots days and days of practice if at the end uh, things do not go on well you feel a little uh, discouraged uh, but i think uh, the entire presentation was quite flawless and congratulations to you because uh, your effort has been uh, rewarded we can we could see through this effort then there was quite some finesse uh, to this assembly okay uh, of course for the class teachers also it's years and years of experience but it's not easy since it's just the second year of online assembly and uh, you'll have really managed to give us a quality production today okay by way of your presentations and uh, some very powerful images along with some deep reflections uh, you know i hope this assembly is replayed again and again by some of you along with your parents with your families to see the amount of uh, thoughts and messages that each one of us can derive to the conversations which was part of the script of this assembly so congratulations for the ones who have scripted the assembly to for the deep reflections that we have received through uh that you raise me up the song then the dance then uh, the involvement of your parents okay as father rector mentioned and also of the past peoples was was noteworthy uh, i did not note down the first name because by the time i know i went back to the first one already there were three others on the line or three four of them there was alden craig dean and atarva of your class itself and before that the first one i missed out on that name but thanks to each one of them okay for for their valuable instructions and for valuable uh, uh, messages that they have given you from their experience at school
Yeah, and uh, to end, I will quote one of you, uh, one of the compares of one of you that mentioned in the scene where Iron was being, uh, you know, goaded on by his companions and uh, asked, they were asking him never to give up hope. So one of them mentioned, life begins outside your comfort zone. I think that's a beautiful statement for all of us who are used to maybe a good zone of comfort in our schools, but which we are not getting it. Okay, so we are getting a challenging time at home. And maybe it's uh, time for us to reflect on and to put into practice these beautiful words that you've given us. Uh, once again, congratulations. We are all waiting for you to come back to school. Last year, we were hoping it did not happen. This year, we are hoping and we never lose hope. Okay, we keep on hoping and praying. Congratulations once again. Wish you all the best for the year ahead. God bless you, my dear boys. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yeah. We now invite Sir Rai to enlighten us. Good morning, boys. You morning, and your sir. class teacher, you and your class teacher have worked very hard. It was a really very good assembly. You have covered all the components of a good assembly. I have also learned how to love nature, and that was that is a very practical assembly. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We now invite Miss Cristino. Good morning, boys, and good morning, members of the management and staff that are present here. My first experience at the start of this assembly was something Father Principal referred to sheer despair at the way my network kept slipping, and I was just getting in and out continuously. And I'm really sorry that I missed the first part, but I'm waiting for the YouTube link to get through with it. Like I say every time, some of you have grown so much. Some are almost not recognizable, but um, you've, you've grown and we can see the moves and the strides you've made uh, speaking, uh, supporting each other. Uh, we've got chefs in the making. We've got lots of people doing lots of things. And it's so good to see you with your families. We simply can't wait for you to come back. And we are hoping and hoping that we'll see you here. We look forward to the days when you come in for submissions. And the statement that I'd hold on to from your assembly is when you touch the lowest point it just gives you the chance and the opportunity to rise if any of you including myself have touched the lowest point then there's a chance to only go upwards good morning god bless you have a fine day we now invite mr reshma to enlighten us yeah, good morning, boys. I have to say in one simple word, it's amazing and perfect assembly. Congratulations, boys. Congratulations. At the end, a huge thank you to you, dear parents for your enthusiastic participation in our class assembly. Father, if you realize we had a parent as a teacher, I thank you parents for believing in us that we are mentoring your child and I extend my appreciation for your belief and trust in us. Once again, my boys have done it, Father. My same batch last year from the 9th B to the 10th F. Ayan Sheikh, Atharva and Jasraj. Steve, Ramos, and Mayank. I was really after them for the editing part. Literally, I can tell you I was after their life that I didn't want this, I wanted this. It is their skills and boys, you have worked for it. Keep up this good work. As mentioned, RX students, we always look up to you. 
thank you ranveer for being there it's just a call and you are there for us thank you management thank you staff thank you my dear boys yeah i did miss out on the acknowledgement of the parents and i did notice a parent was a was a teacher in the class okay but i also noticed quite a, nearly all of them were teachers to the students in their homes okay in their own way so thanks i could see a lot of participation and encouragement from the parents well done and thanks to ranveer okay once again i think ranveer is uh, always there available for each one of us at assemblies thank you so much god bless you uh, good morning everyone i would like to acknowledge a special person who is ayan sheik he presented the assembly he made the script he almost did 40% of the entire work so a huge thanks to him